Dang, homie. Oh, I can see myself using this. Wow. <laughs> Oh, this is pigment. Let's play in some makeup. Now, you know, I always start off with a lip primer and I still have been enjoying this MAC Cosmetics one. This is the Prep and Prime Lip. I'm so used to this from being a MAC girl and it works really well. And the reason why I like it is because not only does it hydrate the lips, but it helps to keep the lippy in place, okay? Ula Henriksen has come up with some new hydrating lip treatments. I would use them right now, but because I'm doing a lip primer, this is not gonna work, but I do plan on using these without makeup. Cause I don't know, I mean, maybe there's a color to them. It's a light, faint color. So so it's not something I can see myself putting on top of a lipstick. And you know, I do a lip primer, not a gloss, when I'm doing my makeup, okay? This is not new, this is an oldie but goodie, okay? I got a new shade in the mail, the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint, and I have the shade 23. I haven't used this in a minute, and I wanna give this a shot. I used to use 22, and I do think that that would match my skin well, but you know I want to match my neck and chest, which is darker, so we're gonna go with 23. And let's see how this is gonna look. Now, I can't remember how much I needed to cover my skin, so let's just do this. Okay, this looks good. All right, it's giving medium coverage. Let's add some more. Oh my gosh, if you watch my vlog and my girlfriends came into town, it makes me so happy to know that they got the makeup that matches them well. That Fenty Pro Longwear Foundation looks so good on Sherry. I cannot. I mean, you want to blur your skin and get full coverage? That joint is off the chain. She looked so good. So if you watch that video, then you know exactly what I'm referring to. It's toward the end. I put chapters in my vlogs and you should watch it. I went through basically an in-person makeup tutorial, basically like a makeup class is what it turned out to be. And I see that several of you really enjoyed that. So that made me happy to be able to do that. And they loved it, which also just filled my whole soul. Okay. This color is nice and deep. Gorge, just the way that I like it. I don't have the new Fenty concealer in front of me, but I have used it in a TikTok video. Let's use this Tarte Radiant Shape Tape Concealer. This is the shade 53G, which is deep golden. I used these recently and I liked how my under eyes looked and felt. I know the face is dark. It's all gonna come together very shortly. Here's my damp beauty blender. And let's blend this in right here toward the upper part of the face. I like to go in circle motions so I can diffuse any harsh line. And then once we're back here, I'm diffusing it so that again, there's no harsh line. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. I forgot that I had these NYX contour concealers, whatever you call these things, Pro Fix Sticks. But I got this darker color, which is Rich Espresso, that I wanted to use as a contour. Let me tell you something. I, ooh, is this gonna be dark enough? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> this, is my, this is my foundation shade. Oh my God, this is my foundation shade. Okay, Rich Espresso, dang, why you gotta do that? Let me see, I can do a nose with you. I can do a nose, cause the nose contour really should be subtle, although sometimes I do go wild with it. I can do just the nose. Dang, homie. She's too light to go on the face, but I can put her on the nose. All right, I'm gonna do my old faithful around the perimeter of my face. What I'm trying to say is, it is so confusing and overwhelming for me to create content in short form and then long form with the same stuff because I be liking to do first impressions, not necessarily roundups. Cause then if I do a first impression and I don't like it, I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> I don't be keeping stuff I don't like. So then how am I gonna come now and do a video with something that I already tried and don't like? Ooh, my nose contour is crooked. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm so annoyed. Okay, you know what? We are gonna get some use out of one of these cause I need to re-highlight my face. So let's use the shade Cappuccino, okay? And I just need to fix this middle because it disappeared. Oh, no, I'm messing it up some more. I'm annoyed. Oh, this is a great color. Oh, I can see myself using this under my eye. This is nice and golden. I'm gonna fix the contour in a second too. I know it looks. <laughs> Yo, having to fix errors is annoying in makeup. If you try these NYX Pro Fix sticks, comment and let me know. Let me know what shade you're using and then where you're putting it. Cause clearly Rich Espresso is only for my nose, not my face to contour. Let's go with our Old Faithful, which is L. YS. And you can't be, you can't go wrong with this. Isn't this so cute how they bedazzled this for me? You can't go wrong. The shade is nice and deep and dark and just amazing, like high. So we're gonna go ahead and contour with this. I should really get multiple uses out of my brushes. I'm 
gonna use the same brush to do my contour. I really, really should. I've been using a different brush to do this, but really I don't even need to. Look, I just turned it, it's rectangular. Just turn it over and just make this thing work, hello? Save me on cleaning my brushes, although I love my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner, which I have on subscribe and save through Amazon. They come in, cleans my brushes quickly, dries very quickly, leaves a nice scent on the brushes too. So I'll use those for the smaller brushes, but ones that are dense like this, I will have to take more time to clean. So I'll usually wash that with soap and water or set aside a day or time to actually clean those brushes. But the smaller ones that I use on the eyes, I clean quickly because it just, it just makes the most sense. So here we are putting on the contour. It is looking very wild right now. <laughs> It's been a long time. I have not put on makeup in days because I've either just been too tired, fed up. Yo, just fed up. Like just, oh my gosh. I am grateful. I'm grateful for work. I'm grateful for flexibility. I also don't take enough breaks. I'm working every single day. And it's because what I do is so intertwined with my life. And you know, it's not a nine to five. It's not a seven to three. You feel what I'm saying? So it's easy to be working all the freaking time. And it's not always strenuous. Although it's just a lot to think about. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. I never take my cream contour and contour my chin, but I just felt like it today. <laughs> so we just did that. <laughs> I normally reserve that for the powder foundation. I am so sick. I'm doing some new things right now. My face looks very deep. Okay. I cannot wait to warm it up a little bit with some golden powder, which I'm going to use in a second. But of the beauty blender and let's clean up this harsh line here and then turning it this way, doing the same here and doing the same here. I have not forgotten about the one hour lightly edited video. Listen, I have a long list of things. It's just getting to it, you know? We gotta get to it. <laughs> But just believe me and you, I have not forgotten. Huda Beauty came up with their new setting powders. They've got Team Pink and Team Peach. I naturally thought that I was gonna be Team Peach, but it turns out that Cinnamon Bun, which is the shade that I like to use in their setting powders, is part of Team Pink. It's just, it can be so confusing. So here we have the loose setting powder. They've got the color correcting concealer right here. This is lychee. And then we have the pressed setting powder, which I already have one open. So I'm gonna leave this here and save it. So this is Cinnamon Bun, which is pretty light. I like using this to highlight my my face or to set the highlight and to add more color everywhere except under my eyes. I have been playing around with the idea of putting this right underneath my eyes where the fine lines are and then doing my luminous setting powder because when I use a setting powder right here that is very drying, like the Makeup Forever one, there's a MAC one as well, it leaves this shadow because it's so drying that I have been toying around with putting this right underneath the eye. But now that I think about it, I wonder if I should put the loose version of this cinnamon powder because I I do be feeling like, is it getting where I need it to go? Is it getting there, you feel me? And we're gonna put this directly under the eyes. So note to self, and even when I was doing the tutorial with my girlfriends, Sherry, I remember, did not use a setting powder under her eyes. And all of us have creasing, you feel me? If you don't have any under eye creasing, let me know. You're probably 15 years old. <laughs> but if you're a mature woman, honey, you got them creases, you feel me? Praise be. And she wasn't setting her under eye. And I'm like, oh my God, that's what's missing. So once we got her set with that, Mm, her under eye looked so stinking good. So let me get my brush ready because you want to set it quickly. I pulled out this brush, okay? Now I can use this brush. I could also use something smaller like this one. This is a Sephora 19 brush. It all depends on the area that you're working with. I could use either, but let's go with something smaller because I wanna get right underneath here. Gather your product, always tap off the excess, and then make sure that the concealer is not settled into the fine lines. Keep your eyes like this, cause it's a must, and press. I I could do the sponge. I just have not done the sponge and the powder in a long time. And I remember times where it didn't go well, so I don't always do it. This is the Elle Cosmetics Medium Beige Halo Loose. What? Halo Loose Setting Powder, okay? And I'm using the Sephora 79 brush. And I wanna set everywhere else. I mean, I am gonna go on top of what I did because I want it to look uniform. And this is going to set and also give me a glow. Because if you've noticed, I don't be using an outside product to highlight anymore. I just like this, it looks so good. I mean, I'll use things from time to time to try them out, but what do I love? I love just setting my under eye with a luminous powder and leaving it there. And I bring it down here, cause this is where the light's gonna reflect and look really pretty. It has to span in a large area, at least for my face. That's how I like for it to look, all right? I do take the Easy Bake Cinnamon Bun shade, which is the pressed version, and then set the rest of my face. This is not necessary. I mean, I could leave it and just leave my face on this dewy tip, but I like to do it, 
it helps to crank up the highlight a little bit more. You feel me? And I do want to crank this up. Same brush. You can imagine that's going to mix in with the halo glow and that's okay with me. And I used to go and pinch to set this in the middle of my nose, but not anymore. It's going to do what it has to do. You feel me? Everything's going to look fine. It's all going to look real good and we can see it. Just a little because this foundation shade is pretty deep. I'm gonna take what's left over on this brush. This is an LYS powder brush. And I'm gonna set, but yeah, I mean, adding a little bit of color and setting. Ooh, yeah, I did not even touch my product with this and look at this line. Yeah, there's some leftover on here for sure. So I had to go up to make sure that that was blended. What? <laughs> so you see how I said I don't always wash the big brushes? They have some leftover product on here. Take advantage of it. I mean, it's just your face, hello? And then what's left over? I'm going down here. Yeah, I don't need to add anything else. Now, what I will do is accent this contour right here because I want it I want it to be deeper. So I am going to go in my Elle Cosmetics Powder Foundation Rich 660N just right here because this makes a subtle difference. If you've ever had your makeup done by a pro artist and they knew what they were doing, they contoured you right here, okay? If you've ever seen videos of it on social, then you'll see folks do this as well. It makes such a huge difference. For many years, I was not doing that and I was like, yo, Something's just missing. And then I would see people do this and I'm like, oh yes. You gotta bring it right there. Cause when the whole face comes together, it comes together, all right? I love teaching y'all tips and tricks. You gotta be able to do it. I cannot imagine myself paying someone to do my makeup. I say that freely because I don't take clients. <laughs> if I was taking clients, maybe I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> This is the Patrick Style, my favorite powder foundation. The shade is Dark 4G. I like the shade a lot. I like the G about it, the golden. I like that. I need to bring that in because I do feel like my face is looking very cool. Maybe neutral, but more cool to me. Cool toned. I need some goldenness. You feel me? I'm not intentionally going over my contour. No, because I want that to stay there. Now what I will do is the brush with leftover product and go over the contour just to make sure that it wasn't taken away too much by me doing what I just did, which was applying my my face powder, okay? And there's nothing too, Shay was not using face powder. And I'm saying all this because if you watched it, I hope that you did. And if you want to just go to the video and fast forward, look in the box below and click to the section where I did the makeup tutorial on my, on my girlfriends and see because there were certain parts of her makeup routine that she wasn't doing that when I showed it to her, she was in shock, I was pleased. And now it's gonna elevate what she's doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes it's those little things that you don't know that when you do it, you'll be like, oh, that was that's what was missing. Now, I'm gonna show you my brows because I saw the, the viral video where the beautiful black woman was like, okay, so creators, what's the deal with y'all skipping your brows? And it's like, oh, not you referring us. I'm not mad about it because she ain't lying. Why are we skipping her brows? Because it's so long and we don't want you to skip out of the video because it's taking so long. <laughs> Recently, I did a video where I was talking while doing my brows and I thought, that's what I have to do. I need to be sharing something while doing it so that I don't have to be concerned that the viewer is bored while I carve my brows out. Well, if you're new here, I like to make my brows with makeup look a lot different than my brows without makeup. I got microblading three years ago. I love them. I have had one touch up and I love them. But when I do my makeup, I like for the brows to be more dramatic and the microblading brows are more of a day-to-day -day brow for me. I did not let her do my makeup brow on my for the microblading. What? No, that ain't gonna look right on a day-to-day -day basis. It just ain't. So they're different. The makeup brow goes up more and I love my brows. If you don't, that's okay. You should do your brows the way you want them to be done. I've gotten so many compliments on my brows. So I know that it ain't just me, honey. When I was younger, I actually did the method where you put the concealer over the end of your brow just to try out the look of me having a higher arch. And then I loved it. I was like, wait, I can actually do this. So then I took the bold step to start shaving off the tip of my brow so that I could make my arch higher. And then when I decided to get microblading, I was like, okay, I'm gonna microblade it to my everyday brow and keep on shaving off the tip so that when I do my makeup, I can do how I wanna do it. And that's what I do. This is the shade Granite. This is not as dark as the Koki Cosmetics one, which is black. I like how dark that one is, but this is still nice.
Now I do set the under eye and you can either do a loose powder or a pressed one. Let's do the press because it's neater versus a loose where when I do this part, it'll all fall down on my face, which isn't the end of the world because it blends away very easily. I could have used more concealer because I can see my microbladed brow right there. But let me just tell you right now, sometimes you gotta just leave it. <laughs> you gotta just leave it the hell alone, okay? Maybe you can't even see it, but I can. Now what I will do is take the brush, which again has leftover product because we, we've not even applied anything here. And I'll go in this area because I don't want there to be a harsh line of demarcation in this area. I'll see it sometimes and I can't stand it. Years ago, when I was new to makeup-ish, I was never doing this part. And then I could see it flash back in pictures and I hated it. Do you see the highlight bouncing back at me? It looks so gorgeous. This is the Juvia's Place Eye Primer. This is the shade two. I want to do a fun Valentine's Day eye look. It's been a minute since I played in bright color. It has been a minute since I've used an eye primer. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush to blend it because my nails are way too long for me to be trying to use that to blend this out. What I'm doing here is neutralizing the eyelid so that the eyeshadow colors can pop. I used to use white back in the day. Yo, that is so nostalgic. Literally a white NYX pencil or NYX had a paint pot that I would use and it dried very nicely. You can also, because look at this, this is lighter than the shade of my concealer. So you'll see people who will use their concealer all over their eyelid and then they'll set it and then do their makeup. But I'm not used to that. I have to stick to the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. And I'm used to using an eyeshadow primer. I'm so excited to play in color again. I picked up this Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette and this is called Culture the Explorer. Look at all of those beautiful shades. Let's get the crease going. Ooh, this shade Wazobia looks so stinking good. What? Love it already. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this brush is too big. Depending on the area where you wanna put the color, you gotta change your brush. So we're gonna blend this in left to right motions and then fizzling it out so that there's no harsh line. And now we're gonna take this pink shade, which is called Kobo or Kobo, I'm not sure, with this flat brush and then apply this right here on the lid. Oh yes. There is a lighter, more Pepto-Bismol type pink, but I wasn't feeling that right now. I wanted to go with this magenta type pink. This is gorgeous. Looking down, focusing it in right here in this inner corner and then going over. Windshield wiper movements, yes, but I also really wanna pack it on. So I'm doing a mixture of windshield and packing because I need this color to pop and stay. It's gonna be a soft cut crease type look, but really before the cut crease came out, we just did lid and crease colors. So it's not a cut crease. I just am so used to seeing and saying that, that that's what I'm thinking of right now, but you know, not really. It's just a lid color. To make this blend even better, I'm taking the purple and placing it right here in the crease. It's not gonna be too loud, but it's going to basically seal in this end cap right here. And then to highlight the inner eye, I'm gonna use the shade Effique. It's a, uh, ooh, ooh, okay, this thing tricked me a little bit. Wow, oh my God. Uh, this is not so much Valentine anymore. <laughs> this is green, oh my God. What a pleasant surprise that I didn't want. <laughs> This shade is freaking pink. It's right here. It's a pinky type shade. And why the hell is it green? Oh my God. Yo. <laughs> Okay, well, we woo, look, woo, let's blend this out, baby. Let's go ahead and wipe off and blend, okay? Well, we got, we, we doing some green for Valentine's Day, praise be. I still like this palette. I just was not expecting that. <laughs> I did not do any swatches. I just jumped right in. For eyeliner, we have the Give Beauty Gel one, which I love. We're gonna put this on and smudge this. No perfection desired. And then inside the waterline as well. With my OG MAC liner brush, I'm gonna smudge this liner on top. YSL sent me a new mascara, so let's try this one out. This is a Lash Clash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Let's see what I go on. I think it looks pretty. It's not It's not gonna replace my OG favorites, but I do like it. Let's go with my old school classic D22 lashes. I get these from AliExpress, but they're also on Amazon. So I'll link that below so you can grab it. I love these. I've been using these for a long time. Let's use the Kiss I Envy Lash Glue that I'm just gonna paint on essentially, which makes things easy. No more bonding glue. 
<laughs> I stopped that years ago though. For blush, I'm gonna try out these new Juvia's Place blushes. This is the shade Barbie Rose. They went viral on TikTok. Folks is playing games, acting like they don't understand that this was made for us. Sit down somewhere. Look at how pigmented that is. I put them back in my hand because you know I need to get control of the product, okay? Now taking my sponge, I blotted off the excess. Then I'm gonna go on my face, okay? Cause I like to build up my pro. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is pigment. I like to build up my Prada. <laughs> I'm blotting some more. Yes, Juvia's Place. Give us the color we need for our deep, dark skin. Again, this is made for us, hello? So that we don't have to take 10 years to get the color we want. Wow. Ooh, I cannot wait to try out the orange one. This is gorgeous. And it got me where I wanted to go so quickly. It ain't gonna take me 10 years. Wow. This is good. I feel like I took too much. <laughs> I took a lot more than I normally use, but now I know. Whoa! Yo! I feel like I'm ready for carnival. Up, da, da, uh, 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 Let's press these together with my Revlon Half Lash Curler. Love this. Pressing the lashes with my lashes. Love, love, love. Adding the drama. Again, leftover product. <laughs> Let's bring back some of the contour. Yo, nah, son. I can't get over this blood. <laughs> No wonder the people that don't look like me are getting upset. This is not for you, yo. This is supposed to get to the point quickly. You feel me? Fenty hella thick under my eyes. Love, love, love how thick this is. Yes, honey. Okay, Makeup Forever Artistry pencil in the shade Limitless Brown. Oh my gosh. I'm reminded that I need to do my highlight, Rare Beauty. The shade is Flaunt right here in the middle, right above my lip. My lip, my face looks very naturally dewy. I'm reminded that the Fenty Skin Tint does do that. I like the natural glow of it all. Okay, Limitless Brown. This is a Bare Minerals Lasting Matte Lippy and the shade is Lucky. A nice soft pink. The liner is too dark. What shade liner is this? Oh, <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I took the wrong liner. I took dimensional, no wonder. Dimensional dark brown, that's what I wanted. Oh. <laughs> ah, I'm so annoyed, okay. I'm like, mm -mm. it shouldn't look like a black liner on me. That shade is very dark, FYI. Okay, I'm, I wanna bring this really toward the perimeter a lot more to try and cancel out some of the darkness. Ooh. Okay, here's the finished look. I put some curls in my hair. What do you think? Yo, this blush has stunned me, okay? Stunned me. It is clearly made for me, for you, for us. You feel what I'm saying? It is so pigmented and it didn't take any time. Girl, oh, I cannot wait to try out this orange one. I am stunned. I actually wanna go and get other colors. Cause I don't do red blush often, but maybe I do. Maybe this day I wanna do that. Anyway, I love this look. The nude lip even looks really pretty. Comment below and let me know if you love this. Do you wanna see other looks? Like should I do a purple Valentine's Day look? Let me know, right? With just purple? Mm -hmm. I could do that too. I, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'll leave two videos for you to watch right here. Follow me on all socials and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.